All right, guys, ladies and gents, uh, Dale, Crash King RC. Um, getting ready to start a project. Can't wait on this one. I'm gonna go get some different paint, or more. Um, but uh, that is for a friend of mine doing that one. Uh, what I'm gonna work on today is the SCX-10-2 builder's kit again. I'm going to put the servo together on this. Um, got my servo here. Now I know why uh, that they tell you to put the servo in before you put the front rear end in. Because the servo horn you cannot get to. I did set this in there yesterday and then went to put the horn on and realized there was no way. So we're going to put the servo horn on. I did go away from their plastic horn. I like the metal horns. Uh, I have had a couple horns strip out on me on out on the field. Um, just did that a little wrong there. You don't want to crank that down as tight. I'm going to get these two little bolts. As this has the two small bolts, one per side. Get them snug down. Make sure you're applying down pressure. Uh, that just kind of locks that dude on there. But if you tighten this down, you'll actually be fighting against the washer. So, that's that part. That is all tight. Now, get the chassis thrown up here. Maybe literally thrown. Uh, I'm not sure how much fun this is going to be with the bolt for the actual arm because of the everything being in the way so to speak but here goes something I, I do got this uh, a massive <laughs> massive uh, gift yesterday from uh, a friend, a bunch of RC stuff. Um, I actually got a motor from my bomber. I can't wait to get that in and maybe go out and run it. Um, you now I've kind of been busy uh, the past couple of days. Some of you know I lost my job. Um, uh, not as easy to find a job with any pay behind it and uh, to top that off <laughs> the driving I mean I can go make 20 bucks an hour but I gotta drive dang near 100 miles to do it not happening you spend that much time on the road you're you're not spending any time at home so it's too old for that and have some serious road rage issues. I don't like getting beat up. <laughs> but dang near got this servo mounted. Uh, guys, I was actually going to do something today as far as on my video and I kind of done messed that up. So hopefully I'll get another one in the next couple of days. I did post a bunch of videos today. But I had to go to the city, and in the city, I had Wi-Fi where I was at. I had uh, excellent service. So, 13-minute video took less than five minutes to load. Pretty sad you got to drive a hundred mile just to uh, load a video, but definitely not going to do that. But your servo wire right there kind of tucks in around along your chassis. There's a couple more connectors. I'm not going to worry about them right now. I'm going to attempt to get the bolt in for the arm itself. <clears throat> now the arm does call for the uh, um, yeah, nut on it. But 
the servos that I use are actually um, they're actually threaded. So I'm going to flip this dude over and hopefully put it together this way. The inside hole for a servo is your strongest hole. Um, it gives you the most power for your play. Uh, but it gives you just a little less throw. Now, if you want the longer throw, you have to go to the top servo hole. And I did not bring my flashlight in. I can't see how much that nut's sticking through, so I'm, or a uh, bolt. All right, it looks like it's still clear. Well, and hits the... It's the frame. All right, I may have to rethink this servo, but there is nowhere to go anywhere with it. So that's gonna, oh, what a piss poor design. Huh. The panhard bar actually bottoms out. I don't know if this is, Let's see if I can zoom this in. Okay, let it focus. All right, the steering servo sits there. When you load your suspension, literally the servo horn is pressing so hard right here. It's pressing so hard that it's actually pushing on the servo. So if you were to load the suspension dropping, you're beating your servo to death. I do not like that design. It is actually stressing your panhard bar mount and your panhard bar plus your steering servo. So I'm going to flip this over. And unless I get a drop servo, I'm hitting the frame on this side. So, I want to watch that servo. It is actually rocking the servo. So, crazy. Uh, anybody else ever built one of these and it doesn't do that? Uh, maybe it's just something I've done. But, um, that's throwing a servo in it for a real long servo installation. And alright, uh, thanks for watching guys. I'm going to cut it at this, go check on my daughter, and then see what else I can get done. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Like, click, subscribe, and uh, always, like I said, whatever your hobby may be, enjoy it.